Wherever you go, you're in for a treat. From Virginia to Maine, you'll find cuisine that can't be beat. Should you choose Boston or Manhattan chowder, tell them to bring on the feast. Great times, great food, great taste, great chefs of the East. So pull up a chair. Get ready to die. The Chesapeake Bay soft shells they say are simply divine. It's time to let go. Let your palate wander. Tell them please bring on the feast. Great times, great food, great taste, great chefs of the. Welcome to Great Chefs of the East, a celebration of regional cookery featuring some of the leading chefs from the East and Northeast. This time from Boston, an appetizer by Jasper White, chef owner of Jasper's. From New York City, an entree by Elaine Sayak, dean of the French Culinary Institute. And from La Cheval d'Or in Jeffersonville, Vermont, Chef Yves Labay presents Dessert. The dessert course comes from the idyllic and genial environs of northern Vermont. Jeffersonville is home for the Windridge Inn and Cheval d'Or. Chef Yves LaBay's top-notch cooking rather surpasses typical bed and breakfast fare. Case in point, his dessert, Vermont Maple Crepe Souffle. For the dessert, the dessert we have, the Maple Crepe Souffle. Crepe Souffle au sirop d'érable. Uh, very simple ingredients. Um, pastry cream prepared with milk, flour, and maple sugar. Egg whites, maple sugar, and crepe. Now you see, and one more thing here, cream of tartare. You can, you can, you can do without it, but it's a bit easier to use a small amount. Now, if you can see, there is a little bit more, a little bit more sugar than egg whites. You can do at least same amount, maybe a little bit more. So all you do is beat them by hand, or if you are like lazy like me, you put them in your, in your little kitchen area. Now, when the egg whites start to be foamy, you add your cream of tartare. Okay? Ooh, use very small amount, that much. One and a half cups of egg whites are being beaten. Now the meringue, or the egg whites rather, are stiff. They make a peak. And they are ready, therefore, for us to add the maple sugar to that. Reduce the speed of your machine. Add the sugar gradually. And beat that meringue now until until uh, it's stiff. Maple pastry cream includes one cup milk, two egg yolks, three tablespoons maple sugar, and two tablespoons flour, cooked and cooled. So now, now the uh, I think a very important step in mixing your meringue with the pastry cream is to pour, that's how much meringue we'll use for the dish. Small amount, I mean, I'm a pastry cream, that's a small amount on me. It's very important to dilute that, this first with some of that meringue. So, Take a little bit of the meringue and add it to the pastry cream and mix it whichever way you can to make a homogeneous mass. Smooth. Add a little bit more to give more volume to it. And now 
is well diluted and will mix readily, return that to the bowl, okay? Don't try to mix everything in here. Return to your meringue. And just like a souffle, up and down, up and down without breaking this fragile egg whites. Now that's it. We do two crepes, halfway on the dish. Uh, make sure you take a dish that uh, <laughs> goes to the oven, eh? in the oven. Uh, oven proof. A blob here. Voila. Smooth that out. Fill out your crepe. Close it. Fill out the crepe. Close it. And in the oven, as hot an oven as you can get, 550, 600. For five to six minutes, depending on your stove, on your oven. Very few home stoves can cook at 600 degrees. The idea is to cook the crepes at the highest setting until slightly brown on top. Okay. Voila, it's cooked. It's a bit dark, it has to be like that, it has to, in order to be cooked before sugar is caramelized. Very light, sweet. Then I have this beautiful leaf that we gather, garnish like that. No, two, what the heck, why not? Vermont in all its plunder. Maple sugar, maple syrup, maple leaves, encased in a French crepe with a dribble of creme anglaise. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Great food, great taste, great chefs of the East. 